For many students, things may move along relatively smoothly with fractions until they come across fraction division. Then things may start to get a little confusing. When dividing with fractions, the answers do not get smaller, as with whole numbers, but get bigger. How can this be? By using simple models, along with easy-to-understand problems, you can introduce students to fraction division in a way that will help them develop a good conceptual understanding of the operation, which they can then apply to more challenging problems and to mastery of the algorithm. When introducing fraction division, it can be helpful to relate these problems to the meaning of and models used for whole number division. It is important to have students first work with dividing whole numbers by fractions. The use of models, such as fraction strips, is important when introducing these concepts. Start with a problem like, what is 3 divided by 1 half? Have students think of this problem as, how many 1 halves are in 3? Using the fraction strips, students can see that there are six one-halves in three. As students become comfortable with the basic meaning of whole number by fraction division, you can introduce the flip and multiply procedure of using the reciprocal of the divisor and multiplying. Once students are comfortable with the models and procedures for solving whole number by fraction division problems, students can begin working on fraction by fraction division problems. Relate these problems to the same how many groups of meaning used for whole number by fraction division problems, except in these cases, students are examining how many fractional groups are in another fractional amount. For example, Using models such as fraction strips, have students solve problems such as one-half divided by one-fourth. Students can think of one-half divided by one-fourth as how many sets of one-fourths are in one-half. They can use models to show that there are two one-fourths in one half. As with whole number by fraction division, you may introduce students to the algorithm that can be used to solve fraction by fraction division after students are comfortable modeling these problems. Many students may struggle with fraction division. By taking time to work with concrete models, you can help them start with a solid understanding of this operation which they can apply to more difficult problems with greater success.